Hi, my name is Cassie. I work at Fresh Yes. The last couple weeks we've been sending you workouts mainly focused on calisthenics, which is great and all, but we cannot forget that dreaded cardio. Uh, my cardio of choice is running. I have been a runner for about nine years now. I know a lot of people hate it, but I'm here to tell you it's not so bad as long as you do it the right way. So I've got a couple tips and tricks and we'll even go on a run today that I'm excited to show you. So these tips that I have for you are going to make sure that you have a comfortable and an efficient run. First things first, and by far the most important, a good pair of running shoes. These happen to be Nike Zooms. Uh, I like these because they provide a lot of support in the ankle. They are super cushioned and absorb a lot of that impact when your foot's hitting the ground. And they don't rub on any parts of my feet, like the sides of your toes or your heel or anything like that to cause blisters. Second is uh, whatever you are most comfortable in, in terms of your athletic wear. Uh, this really goes by preference. I personally prefer leggings over shorts and I always run in tank tops. I never run in short sleeves. Next, uh, a tracker. I use my Apple Watch. Uh, there's a couple apps on there that you can use. In addition to that, I use an app on my cell phone. Tracking your runs gives you a baseline and helps you understand um, your numbers so you can know what you need to improve on later. And lastly, music. I have to have something in my ears. And over the years, I've learned that the type of earbuds that go behind your neck and they wrap around your ear uh, stay on my head the best and um, have the best Bluetooth connection to my phone so they don't skip. Now let's go ahead and get started and go on our run. So we just finished our pre-run stretch. Before we take off, I wanted to introduce you to my running buddy, Phoebe. We've been running together since she was a puppy and she's got it down pretty good now. So let's go. So right now, Phoebe and I are doing the walking portion of week one, day one on the Couch to 5K program. I recommend this program to beginning runners because they really kind of make it foolproof for you. They provide you with interval training uh, that will eventually get you to run an entire 5K without stopping. Uh, today, it's having us run for two minutes and then walk for a minute. Uh, the app actually guides you and will talk through your music and tell you when you need to speed up and it's actually telling me to do that now, so here we go. And we're done. Today's interval training lasted 20 minutes. Before I get my post run stretch on, I want to remind you to be sure to practice good posture while you're running. That's shoulders back, chest up, be able to fill those lungs with air. Speaking of that, take solid deep breaths while you run. Uh, the more air you can take in, it gets into your blood and it goes to your muscles and it'll keep you moving when you think you're dying. Um, lastly, be kind to your feet and pay attention to your gait and your step. I think we lose a lot of beginning runners because they say it hurts. Running is not supposed to hurt. So if it is, take the time to do the research to learn how to do it properly. Other than that, get your cardio on. It's not so bad, I promise. Stay safe. 